Hello everyone, my name is Antasil and today we'll be looking at Bulgaria. Specifically, we'll be using Bulgaria to form United Balkan Federation, which is uh, right here, Unification of the Balkans. We will do so as a democracy. Now, hear me out, don't click away just yet. <clears throat> Going for the United Balkan Federation as a democracy is actually a very strong opening path. And if you're wondering about the achievement where you need to form the, the Balkan Federation as communist, well, you can do it the other way around. You can form the Federation first and then flip communist through a communist advisor. That will it could put you on the path of Balkan problems solved, the achievement that is uh, sometimes very hard to get. Countries are more likely to flip democratic than they are communist for several reasons. Uh, starting democracy in some of these countries is higher and uh, there are some other reasons. So we'll be sticking with democracy in this game. This will be an opening strategy video where I will explain some of the mechanics along the way. A sequel to this video will pretty much rush through the entire opening stage and assume you know all this stuff. So this is uh, more of a beginner uh, video. If you already know all this stuff, well, you can check with me if you know the same stuff. And otherwise, um, you can skip to the next video whenever I get around to making it. Now, let's have a look at the focus tree first. We'll be starting with a post-royal dictatorship because we are going down the democratic path, which is over here. We will be handling the factions, which I will explain in detail when they get around. So let's start with this one here. Research, I'm not going to show you much of that because it's not very interesting for our stri starting strategy. Try to keep up with infantry and artillery equipment and industry, of course. Uh, do note that Bulgaria does not start with artillery research, so I recommend you switch construction uh, later, this slot later to artillery. In terms of production, um, it's with pain in my heart that I said we say goodbye to this 100% efficiency on trucks. We'll have to get it back later. I want to produce all the guns I can from the start of the game. We'll need those guns to get rid of our Imro debuff. More on that later. We'll need some civilian factories to get a hold of the right upgrades for our intelligence agency. And we'll need an intelligence agency to help with flipping countries democratic as we go. The army, we have army restrictions as a national spirit, that's this one, this one here, which does not allow us to uh, modify the template or even delete this. Um, I would have preferred to delete it, but alas, that is not possible yet, so I'll just exercise these to level 3. That's the opening of the game, and let's roll. Opposed Royal Dictatorship is done. <clears throat> this opens up the faction interaction men menu. And you can see that you can uh, raise the loyalty or uh, d destroy the loyalty of some of these factions. Not all the uh, options are available here yet. The Sveno is not in this menu yet. And uh, you have to do the focus to either cooperate or dissolve the military union. Do note that all these decisions cost 20 political power and we're not getting a lot of political power. So normally I'd advise you to wait for one of these focuses. Here you can see Decision cost to activate any faction management decisions is halved. We'll be actually going for this one here, it is the same. Um, so it's wise, wise to um, keep a hold on doing too many of these decisions. However, if you do not get rid of the Zeno or integrate them in time, you will have a civil war on your hands. This is really nasty. So I'd advise you to ignore my early advice and just get rid of the Sveno or integrate them as soon as possible. So I will be making a detour right away, cooperate with the Sveno. Um, trust me, I've done the math, you can afford this in terms of political power. Cooperate with the Sveno is done and we'll continue with democratic principles. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the decisions. There are now uh, decisions for the Sveno and I advise you to get going as soon as possible. Uh, their loyalty is quite low so it will be slow going. You might be tempted to actually destroy the Sveno because they have a low loyalty. But the Sveno advisors you get when uh, integrating them are really good so I'd always advise going with the Sveno. Click, click. Democratic principles is done and I'll go for support the agrarian union. Click. 
I got my first two spies and there's not much boosting to do right now because I'm still not aligned. So I'm just going to uh, set my spies to infiltrate the army of various neighbors and hope to get up some military experience. And click. Once in a while, the Broad Socialist, the Agrarian Union, or even the National Socialist will uh, give you pop-up events. You can really uh, go to town against these guys, and you, you'll see all these red numbers. Uh, just take the hit on the uh, with the top one all the time. Click. Support the Agrarian Union is done, and we can now form the popular block. After which, I will go for abolish the monarchy, which will require democracy uh, support of 30%. So we need a democratic reformer. If you're going to hold off on integrating the Sveno just for a little bit, form popular bloc gives 5% democracy support. We are at 25.9. So this doesn't get us over 30% just yet. So we can do abolish the monarchy just yet. Well, there is one detour I still need to take, and that's condemn Macedonian or Macedonian organizations. So we'll do that now. Meanwhile, we can integrate Sveno for 10 political power now. I'm trading for steel with Sweden now to get my production efficiency up a little. I've got a hopeful factory lined up for artillery, but I want these uh, two factories producing max efficiency guns, and I also need the support equipment later on. Here's condemn Macedonian organizations and we can abolish the monarchy. Might as well take uh, care of the anti imro propaganda right away. Do note that after abolish the monarchy, I will want legislative elections and I will need 50% agrarian union support. So keep an eye on the integration of this Veno and immediately start boosting the, the agrarian union afterwards. Otherwise you'll have a delay. Integrating the agrarian this Sveno will lower your loyalty of the agrarian union. So we need a few clicks on that. Abolish the monarchy. <clears throat> now I want legislative elections and I need 40% of uh, democratic support and I need more support for the agrarian union. That's taken care of and it's at 65 now. So I'll just um, click joint act once more. I still need more democracy support, so I'll just uh, ban far-right organizations while I'm at it. And that will eat into the fascism support and raise our democracy in the process. This is also a good time to go to partial mobilization. Uh, we need a ton of political power later on, but trust me, we can afford this. Here we can go for legislative elections, so let's get right to that. We can also get rid of the National Social Movement, but I'd advise just to get the Agrarian Union out of the way first. As for Broad Socialist, uh, especially if you're going to flip Communist, uh, these are valuable people to have, so I just integrate them as well. The bonuses are worth it. Now, after legislative elections, this is very important, you want to go for the Salonika Agreement and you need high relations with Greece, so this is a good time to start improving relations with Greece. And we can integrate the Agrarian Union. And we are now Democratic Bulgaria with legislative elections and we can select the Salonika Agreement right away. So let's do that. Agrarian National Union integrated. <coughs> Great, a lot of political power and stability. I will now ban National Social Movement Media. Click, click. That's the Salonika Agreement, and we can go for a Balkan Confederation, which will create a faction with Greece. So just keep those relations nice and high. And we can destroy the National Social Movement. The Balkan Confederation is done. We are now in a faction with Greece. We'll set uh, the spies to work in Turkey uh, for now. Creating a faction allows us to get rid of the army restrictions, so let's start right there. This pisses off the Brits, I don't care. We now no longer have army restrictions. Let's have a look at the army. I want this template with its motorized to remove the motorized. It's now a four, cav four cavalry template. Save. Move 
all of these divisions over to the, this template and this will create a stockpile of inventory and support equipment. Now we can persecute Imro activists. It's important you take this early because this will take away the political power debuff. That's why I'm rushing this right here, right now. Now there's the Balkan Summit. You can click the Balkan Summit, of course, and there are industrial investments and capital injections for all your neighbors. Yugoslavia, Romania, Turkey, Greece, and Albania. We will not be doing anything with Albania. Whatever you do, um, Albania on our historical focuses will also be give, always be given to Italy. And that would be useless for us. So we'll be concentrating on the other four. Now, do note that your spies can only boost dem democracy support in Turkey, Romania and Yugoslavia, not in Greece, because they are our allies. So make sure you at least start with the industrial investment in the Kingdom of Greece, because this takes away factories and we don't have that many factories. So, well, let's see how far we get. I always believe Yugoslavia is the easier one of the of them all to flip, so I'll prioritize the others. No, I can't do this one anymore. Might try to take away the trade, see if that helps. No, I can't afford Yugoslavia anymore. Well, let's just uh, do them later when these uh, industrial investments have, are done. And we will do capital injection in everything except Albania. And we will just have to let this run. Um, I'm using the spies to boost democracy support here. That's not without risk. They will get captured, etc. Uh, every percentage helps and we'll see how it goes. As for focuses, we have a long way to wait. This is the focus we need um, and it, uh, this focus will invite any democracy in the Balkans into our faction. Currently that's no one. So we need to wait with this one. However, we have uh, this focus in case we want to stay democratic. I'm not going to do that today and we'll go down the industry path to improve our industry somewhat. And that's the National Socialist Movement. Another batch of political power. We now have more than enough. I'll also afford myself an infantry expert. There he is. Now we can afford the rest for now. We could go operate conscription law. We'll do that later. As for now, we need to allow broad socialists and get them all the way up there. I like them integrated. It's also about time to get rid of my dem democratic reformer. I'm not getting a communist guy just yet because communist support will ra rise rapidly enough. Modern tools are done. We're not done with the Balkan summit by a long shot so we'll improve the road system. Persecute Imro activists is done. Now we can do the last one. Uh, you can see at the top you need to position your divisions in exactly the right provinces. So this should be it. I correct. Yes, that's it. Destroy Imro remnants. That will damage these, these divisions, but um, well, they can handle it. Click. Improved road system is done, and we'll go for invigorate national industry. Click. Well, the spies are starting to look like something. I'll uh, start boosting ideolo ideology and democracy support. This is risky. They'll get captured and then you'll have to rescue them, but every percentage helps. Meanwhile, the Balkan Summit decisions are expiring. This will boost all of their democracy support. So immediately start going for industrial investment in Yugoslavia, who got left out last time. And the capital injection decisions will come back and we can afford to do the, all of those. Capital injection in Yugoslavia, Turkey, Greece, Romania, but not Albania. You guys can get stuck with Mr. Zok here. And you can see democracy on the rise here. I also firmly believe that I can afford limited conscription now. Invigorate national industry is done and we'll go for expand Sofia University. And integrate the broad socialists. Broad socialists are integrated and all of the decisions are completed <clears throat> and expand Sofia University is done. Now uh, let's go for national railway lines and wait a moment and here we can do another round of capital, inje inje capital injections in Romania, Yugoslavia, Turkey and Greece. And we're getting along nicely. 
Yugoslavia is, is ahead the furthest, Romania is following, Greece is uh, quite out there, uh, we just need to keep it up. All this integration stuff has uh, allowed us to, for instance, take the leader of the agrarian union, who will give more democracy support. He also gives more max factories in a state, which is uh, which can be very useful. We have the um, broad socialist leader, the Marxist philosopher, which gives both political power gain and daily com communism support. I'll take him now and take the communist revolutionary later. This will give us uh, political power gain and some communism support already. Now, how does this work? Above 60%, the AI countries controlling these states will uh, get in, in the possibility of an event to hold a referendum. Over 70% they uh, will be forced to take that decision. Uh, before that it's a bit random. Now there's examples of games where countries can go over 80% and not flip, but these are rare. So just count on things going the right way. I can now do increase industry investments because I have more civilian factories than 16. I never researched psychological warfare. I do advise you to get that earlier than I did. It's not vital. You can probably get Turkey to flip with decisions, but um, well, if you're going to use spies, you better use them fully. And it's time for another round of capital injections. It's like we have infinite money. Well, it's so cheap. Let's have a look. Turkey is at 57%, 58 now. Greece at 61, they might flip any moment. Yugoslavia at 60 and Romania at 60. So we're doing really well. There will be a new Balkan summit available, so take it. You can see the name change here, Yugoslavian Confederation, which means Yugoslavia has flipped as the first. That would have been my guess as well. Uh, we'll do one more focus, the steel plant here, and then we'll hopefully be able to take the um, alliance f strengthening f focus next. Romania has flipped. They're just now called Romania. Hellenic Republic is here. Uh, they've turned to democracy and the Republic of Turkey. This is um, fairly soon, all just over 60, so this is good. Which means I'll go for the communist advisor now. I expect this uh, to go all right. And we'll take the bury the grudges of the past focus next. The steel plant is done. We can now do bury grudges of the past, which will invite any democratic nation in the Balkans into our League of Balkan Confederacies. Take that right away. After that, we will rush straight down through the Balkan Trade Union. United we shall prevail to unification of the Balkans. I'm going to ban fascism, and that will hurt my stability, but pretty soon Italy will do a focus that will give us fascism support. Uh, whatever we're doing here, it's not the brown ideology, so we want to prevent that. That's very grudges of the past. We'll go straight for Balkan Trade Union Secretariat. And my free neighbors have joined my confederacy. Look, here we are, the League of Balkan Confederacies. Balkan Trade Union Secretariat is done. We'll go for United We Shall Prevail. United We Shall Prevail is done, and we can go for the unification of the Balkans. And here we go. Unification of the Balkans. We turn an ugly color of greenish black. And the rest approves. Here we are. Unification of the Balkans complete in September 1938. We are now a super state. Look at those factories, look at that population count, and this is only a limited conscription. <clears throat> and we have finished getting rid of the national catastrophe and the other debuffs. We um, are now free to expand into the military tree over here, uh, get gold for Prussia of the Balkans to become super strong. There's a few other stuff, stuffy thingies here that, that are interesting, but this is really the target to go for and to complete the optimization of your industry. We now have an added army of 110 divisions. Now, some of them are older templates, but you can sort those out. And as for political direction, 
Um, we can flip communist and get the last territories from Italy to complete the uh, Balkan problem solved achievement or we can do pretty much whatever we please. This is the um, finest opening strategy I can show you for Bulgaria. I can even prove to you that you can still flip communist, open a political discourse, discredit government, and almost there for our communist government. I'll, let, I'll show that to you. And here we are, hold national referendum. And we are now communist, United Balkan Federation, with a communist government and a communist leader, who is actually pretty good. An even stronger country now, so you can go to war economy in peacetime, extensive conscription, and really ramp up for war with any of your neighbors. You can beat everyone right now. Well, that's it for today. That's the scope of this video. In a sequel video, I'll be taking the United Balkan Federation uh, around Europe and Asia, I think. And we'll see what happens then. As for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like it, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.